Dylan Duel, FridayNightGlory.com here with David Walker of the Ranch View Wolves after they come up with a huge 48 to 6 win in the opening game of the season. David, uh, you guys kind of fell behind a little bit right away, but the defense, led by you, uh, really slowed them down the rest of the way. What was the key to just really shutting the door the rest of the way? Well, for us, it's about execution and us doing our individual roles and not trying to do someone else's job. So after the first play, we all realized it's we got to put our, get get our head in the game and do our role. And then once that once we do that, everything falls into place. For uh, those of us who don't play football or, you know, we kind of think you might think that, you know, you just go for a tackle wherever it is. But I mean, is it really? You got to stick to your side of the field, or you got to stick to your main focus. What is what is your area of focus as a as an outside linebacker? Inside, inside linebacker. My bad. <laughs> well, um, it's, it's it's not always about making the tackle. It's about filling your gap because we want them in certain positions to make plays, and we use each other to try to make tackles and get sacks. It's not about it's not about getting the tackle. Sometimes, for me personally. It's about filling my gap and getting them to go outside so they gain less yards. It's better for them to work flat than upfield. So that's what I got. As a senior, do you, have you kind of approached this season differently? You know, when you're practicing in uh, the summer here leading up to school, were you kind of trying to be more of a leader? Or do you consider yourself like a vocal leader of any sort? Do you kind of just try to lead by example? Um, honestly, I'm not very vocal, but I try to lead by example. I try to make well, I do make it to all my pra all the practices. I come to summer workouts. I don't miss reps when we work out. I I try to lead by example. I'm just not very vocal, so we leave that to other people. Who might be someone who does fill that kind of vocal leader role on this team? Um, Brayson Romine is a very vocal leader. He doesn't let anything slide by. At the end of practice when we're running gassers, he's always the one telling us to keep pushing, keep going, don't stop. Now, as a senior, you know, you guys uh, are a, a smaller team. And I don't mean that in size. I mean that in the number of players you have. Um, what is that like uh, as far as staying fresh throughout the game and, and also outside of games? Does it make you kind of a closer-knit family, do you think? Yeah, it does. We, we all know each other. To make up for the size of our team, we generally run more so we can have more conditioning because we don't always have someone to come in for us like bigger teams do. So we run more, we stay focused, we, yeah. Well, you guys definitely uh, recovered nicely from that quick touchdown they scored tonight and really put on a show the rest of the way. Thanks for taking some time and best of luck this season. Thank you.